everybody, it's Kate McGibbon here from Secret Bloggers Business and welcome back to Blog Tip Tuesday where you get hints, tips and tricks for a better blog. Now today is part two of a little series on how to make your blog sticky. Now last week we talked about uh, having a start here page. So if you've missed that, go back and watch that video. Uh, but today I'm going to talk about having a little introductory email series. Now there's obviously there's 101 different ways to get people onto your email list, but once you do, um, the job your job's kind of not over then. It's not just about getting them on your list and then sending them a you know the link to your newest post every time you post them. Um, you also want to use that first time when they're there to sort of warm them up to you a bit. Um, tell them about who you are. Tell them about what you do, and that way when they start hearing from you regularly, um, they'll be really happy about it. They'll you know they'll want to know more. And so you've got this love yeah you've got this lovely little time when someone first jumps on your email list um, and you need to make the most of it. Now, so, what I only recommend people do is um, when is to set up an automated email series. Now, depending on which email provider you're using, how this works will be different. Um, but most of them allow you to do that. Like MailChimp does. Um, it's called their automations. Um, you just have to set the trigger to be when someone subscribes. Um, you know, I use Active Campaign. I love that. That's really a really smart piece of um, kit. Aweber, Mad Me, they should all pretty much allow you to do this. Um, and all you do is you create a series of probably about three emails, three to five emails, up to you, um, and stagger them out to go out over the next. If you're doing three emails, I'll do it over the next two weeks. And if you're doing five emails, maybe do it over the next month. And you want to basically kind of drip feed through um, you and the best bits about you. So uh, maybe when they first subscribe, you send them a, you know, a welcome email to tell them about who you are. Um, then maybe two days later, send them another one just saying, you know, hey, love that you're here on my email list. Um, if you're new around here, I want to share some of my best stuff and maybe send them like links to some of your best posts. Um, you know, maybe three or four days later, send them another one. Maybe you've got a little, a cool little freebie or something that you have that you've given away before, or you've done some printables or, you know, you've got like a little e-course that you've given people, you know, just sort of send them that. Just basically you want to just keep checking in with them, keep providing value. That's the main, that's the other important thing. Like keep basically giving them things that not only tell them about who you are, but also that make them, you know, really, really excited to keep hearing from you. So if you do that, if you do that sort of like warm up email list, um, then, you know, you've, like I said, you've warmed these people up. These people are now going to be your fans and they're going to be really excited to hear from you and to check out your blog. So it's not going to be one of those, oh, okay, I saw this, they were doing this thing. So I've opted into their email list and oh, why are they sending me emails? I don't want to hear from them anymore. If you spend a little bit of time to get this set up, get people warmed up and happy to hear from you from the start, then you're going to have a much higher open rate on your emails and a lot higher retention rate as well. So, so that's my tip number two for how to make your blog sticky. Make sure you come back next week for the next tip. And if you're loving these emails, make sure you subscribe to our link to our channel for the link below or come on over to secretbloggersbusiness.com and let us know in the comments. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.